we've got tamper data and we've been using tamper data to take a look at various things as we have submitted forms and so on. I want to take a look at something a little bit more specific now. So I've got Amazon up here and I just want to look at some request. And so I'm just going to type this in. And what we, I really want to look at here is looking at cookie data. So I'm going to say yes. And now I want to hit tamper. And I'm going to tamper with that. And so now you can see we've actually got a cookie here. So that's a lot of data. I'm going to copy that out. And I'm going to go into a text editor program here just so that I can actually see the whole thing rather than having to work inside this tiny little box. And let me actually do a new one. A new text document. So I've got a very large cookie string here. And let's go to the very beginning of this and see what we've actually got for parameters being saved. So it looks like that's the session token there. And I'm going to scroll all the way back here. We've got a session ID. And it looks like a session ID time. So you can see there's a lot of cookie data that's being stored here. And what I may want to do as I'm doing testing here is I may actually want to do something like removing one of these cookies as an example. So let's take a look at doing just the session ID forward. Now, if I had a session token that were vulnerable here as an example, what I may be able to do is I may be able to, and this sometimes works, is if the session cookie isn't tied to a particular system in any way, what you may be able to do is copy the session ID off from one system and use it on a different system. So I'm actually going to get rid of this at this point, and now I'm going to paste the new one in there. Now I'm going to just submit that and in this case we just get a response back. But you can see what we've got here is the ability to potentially change session IDs and in doing that what I may be able to do is grab hold of somebody else's session or I may be able to cause some problems on the server where it may not actually be able to handle bogus session IDs. So what I could also do here is if I were to start a tamper, and let's just take a look at that. We're going to tamper there, and we're going to tamper. And what happens if we remove the whole cookie at this point? And then we remove the whole cookie again. And I want to tamper with these subsequent ones and I'm going to remove the cookie and see what we actually get when we submit a request without any cookie whatsoever. And it actually looks like what's happening is it keeps sending the request back. And I'm going to abort the double click message here and let's tamper with this one and tamper with this one and you can see we, we seem to be stuck a little bit at this point because it doesn't have a cookie to work with. And I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to get rid of that one. And it looks like we're just going to keep doing this. But you can see with being able to manipulate cookies, there are a lot of different things that we could actually do with being able to alter cookies using tamper data. And it actually, it's brought up the page at this point. And it did make a lot of requests. And of course, there's a lot of components on the page, but keeps asking us for additional information here. And we keep dropping the cookie. 
and doesn't seem to be having any effect on the server. So it may not be all that interesting in that respect. What I may also be able to do is just change the cookie information to something bogus and see how we actually respond there. But really, the bottom line is that you can use tamper data to very easily see what we've got for cookies and you could actually do some testing on those cookies and see for example how random they are maybe there's actually a pattern to them so you could use something to do some testing against randomness or maybe there are some fields that would jump out to you or you could do a base 64 decode on some cookies and see if there's actually text in the cookies that jumps out to you so lots of different things that we could do with cookies and tamper data allows us to do those sorts of things